Relationship anxiety is normal, but that doesn't mean you have to accept it. The good news is you're in charge of your anxiety, not your partner. So you're in the driver's seat. That's where your personal power is. I'm Brenda Florida, certified life coach, and I don't want you to live in relationship anxiety. So let's break it down and I'll give you a really powerful tool to calm your anxiety. All right, so first of all, most anxiety in a relationship is driven by a fear of being criticized or judged. In other words, being found not good enough by your partner. So it comes out like this. Does my partner think I'm a good communicator, a good parent, good in bed, fun to be with? I mean, hell, it could be that you want them to think you're a good cook. It doesn't matter what the topic is. There's a question in your mind and if your partner's answer were to be no, then you would feel like you're not good enough. And we all want to avoid feeling not good enough like the freaking plague. Okay, so here's today's tool. And it is 10 times more powerful than it's going to sound probably when I say it. So please give it a try before you move on. Here we go. What your partner thinks about you isn't because of you. <laughs> you might be thinking Brenda has lost her mind, but before you bounce, let me explain, okay? Let's use the topic of sex because that's such a hot topic in relationships. Say your partner gives you some feedback that makes you feel bad. Maybe you didn't hit their spot just the right way, or they wanted you to do that longer, <laughs> or they didn't come and you're feeling disappointed, maybe even a little crushed. The first thing that comes to your mind is probably something like, maybe I'm not a good enough lover. Oh, well that's sad and that feels like crap. That would create anxiety. But is it really that you're not a good enough lover? What if you had sex with someone else the next day and they couldn't stop raving about how hot you are in bed. They loved having sex with you. Oh, wait a minute. I thought you weren't a good enough lover. <laughs> so my point is how people respond to us in any situation is about them. It's about their filters, their expectations, their triggers, it is not about you. Realizing that is a huge anxiety reducer. Now, that doesn't mean we don't care what our lover thinks of us in the bedroom or what our boss thinks about us or, you know, your mother for that matter. It doesn't mean we don't care and we don't want to examine our own actions but it removes the anxiety when we can realize, okay, my partner's telling me something about himself, herself, themselves, and it, that way I don't have to take it personally, okay? When we can stop taking things personally, we can get out of our own inner critic, and that way we can show up and engage in the relationship from a more empowered place. So, I mean, of course, like I said, if you're in a relationship you care about, you're starting a relationship and want to see where it's going, you're invested in any way, you're going to want to know more about what your partner likes in bed. We'll go back to our example. And if it feels good to you to give them that, then super cool, right? But if it doesn't feel good to you, then you know the relationship probably just isn't right for you. Anxiety isn't caused by making hard decisions. It's caused by a situation that triggers our inner critic and not trusting ourselves. So I want you to try this out and tell me how it works down in the comments, whether it's your partner, a coworker, or, you know, your mom. When you get that critical feedback, just tell yourself, okay, this is because of them. They are responding to what I've done or said because of who they are, not per because of me. And that way you can kind of like whew, take a breath. You're not taking it personally. You're giving yourself some space to consider, okay, how do I want to respond? Maybe you don't want to respond. 
Um, but whatever it is, you're going to do it from your own place of interpersonal power. Not from that place you're in when your inner critic has been beating up on you and telling you you're not good enough, okay? You can be interested. You can be curious of why they gave you that feedback instead of diminished or defensive. This tool is incredibly powerful and I can't wait to hear from you and how you like it. Now, maybe you don't start on the most hot topic like sex. Maybe you try it with a coworker or a friend or whatever first, but I want you to try it and see if it helps you keep from making it personal. That's really what the key to this is, is when I realize a person is responding to me because of who they are, and not who I am, I don't have to take it personally and I can look at things objectively and keep my own inner critic at bay. I can sincerely ask, oh wow, tell me more. Why did that bother you? Why did you not like that? Why did you feel put down when I said that? Whatever it is. Then we can engage with that level of curiosity and interest instead of feeling that, oh, I'm not good enough, I've screwed up, I've hurt them, it's my fault, all that kind of stuff. So let me know how it works and subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications so you know when my new videos come out and I will see you in the next video.